not every day you get a grain marketing specialist at a pig show, so we have Kim Anderson here with us. Now, Kim, we're at the big three. We're, you and I are talking wheat. Wheat prices are down about a dollar, dollar and a half from where they were a month ago. What's the situation? Well, if you look at KC, a September wheat contract, all week, ever since the WASRI report was released, it's been pounding against that $6.38 support price. It hasn't, it's went below it a little bit, but it hasn't broken through. Next week, if it breaks through, we may have a problem. But if you look at what's going on, uh, the, the USDA report came out uh, la the week before last on that uh, was if you look at hard red winter wheat that looks positive price wise i mean uh, any stocks 185 million bushels five year average 337 million last year 235 as you can see any stocks for hard red winter wheat are low and 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 hard red winter wheat stocks are tight but if you look at the u.s wheat situation all other classes, essentially, the, your hard red spring, your soft red winter, are all above average on ending stocks. Uh, your U.S. at 660 million bushels, five-year average at 770. Foreign wheat, above average ending stocks, 6.3 billion bushels, 6.25 billion for the five-year average. So what does this mean from a world standpoint? Well, if you look at our, our exporters, the major exporters, Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, uh, Argentina, Australia, all of their stocks are projected to increase this year and essentially all of them but one are, are going to end up the year with above average ending stocks. Uh, those those uh, countries can take over our exports uh, and reduce even maybe the projected relatively low export expectations for the hard red winter wheat for the U.S. And when we talked earlier in the season we talked about quality may pr play a role in that. Has that really happened? Well, if you look at uh, it, protein as quality, uh, I talked to one miller and he said protein may average 14%. The catch 22 or the problem is, is that it's too high for a good milling, bread milling quality product. And he said that they've got about 60 to 90 days supply. And in that time period, they're gonna have to figure out how to handle this high protein wheat. They may have to blend it maybe with uh, lower protein, soft red winter wheat, or find some lower hard red winter wheat uh, proteins. Uh, you know, the hard red winter wheat protein may be as high as the uh, hard spring wheat mm -hmm. protein, and that can substitute. We talked about the foreign crops, but that hard red spring can substitute for our hard red winter wheat in uh, certain mills of where you would have a transportation advantage, negative for hard red winter wheat prices. Kim, that's a lot of information. Can you kind of summarize that for us? Yeah, if you're looking at uh, summarizing all this information, uh, we've got the KC uh, September contract at its resistance point. If it breaks it, it's going to go down another 30, 35 cents. If it breaks six bucks, it's KD bar the door. Hard red winter wheat stocks are tight. You'd think that'd be positive price-wise, and it is. However, your other classes are wheat or above average and can substitute for hard red to a certain degree the hard red spring, the soft red winters, you've got your foreign wheat, Australia, Argentina, Kazakhstan, Russia, those that can take our exports away from us and all that will, will result in us high, having higher ending stocks and voila, lower prices. What does all that mean for the Oklahoma farmer? That means, you, remember a, a month ago we said now's a good time to sell wheat and yeah. it was, it turned, it's nice to be right once in a while, but what it means is they've got a very difficult decision. Can they afford another uh, 35, 40 cents lower price? Can they afford to take that risk in hopes that something will happen to the Argentine or Australian crop and our prices recover? It's at best a 50-50 shot right now. And so they've got very difficult decisions and if they can't take the risk, then they at least it need to sell some of their wheat. If it's hard to sleep at night, sell. That's correct. Okay. Cam Anderson, Grain Marketing Specialist here at Oklahoma State University at the Animal Science Big Three this time. Thanks for coming out.